hello all <coughs> welcome to the 13th video on uh, 3d modeling using on shape uh, in this uh, video uh, we move one step ahead of the last video in the assembly actually in the last video we uh, have a very simple assembly of a uh, nut and bolt uh, here uh, on that assembly we only used a uh, cylindrical uh, uh, meat uh, and uh, we connected that cylindrical meat with a screw relation okay so we only used one meat on that particular assembly it's a very simple assembly okay so here we move one step ahead that we are using a, a revolute meat here uh, we are using uh, planar meats here different planar meats and uh, or we are using some fasteners here, okay. So it's a bit uh, uh, complex compared to our last assembly. You can see after uh, making the assembly proper, you can animate it also. You can see uh, the visualization whether uh, the ODAMS coupling is moving very properly, okay. So uh, I took an example for an ODAMS coupling. Uh, here uh, we have uh, basically four components, uh, a frame with the two shaft uh, ends and uh, the main coupler. Okay, so as we all know, Odam's coupling is basically used to connect two shaft which are uh, rotating at a different uh, line of rotation. Okay, so they are not collinear. We will go directly to the assembling now so uh, before going to assembly we want to create the uh, parts uh, so we'll start with the creating the parts okay so first i am going to model the uh, the coupler part i will start a, a part studio i'll just rename it as shaft end Shaftent. Okay, so I'll just start with my uh, front plane. I'm going to make a sketch of the shaft end uh, of the coupling, and um, I'll make a sketch. Then uh, my plan is to revolve and make the their thing. Okay, so view normal. I'll start here. Twenty five almost So this is a basic shape I'm going to make a dimension see Odam's coupling if you look all the dimensions uh, are connected to the diameter of the shaft it is proportional to uh, the coupler diameter uh, the disc uh, dimensions also but uh, I'm slightly changing here why because for uh, viewing uh, if you if we uh, just take that uh, dimensions maybe the disc you seems to be very small okay so uh, for viewing purpose i'm just making some slight changes in the odam's coupling so if somebody is uh, modeling uh, odam's coupling then you have to go exactly with the uh, the dimensions okay so all the dimensions are the functions of the shaft okay so the d okay here i took the d as uh, diameter of the shaft as 50 mm so uh, 
according to that I need all the dimensions okay so this will be uh, my 25 all right so this is my basic dimension now the sketch is fully constrained i'm going for a revolve it okay so click on that and just go for the revolve okay i'll select this profile and the uh, axis i select this okay so i'll get uh, uh the coupling uh the shaft and actually this shaft has a key and the shaft is actually uh connected uh, using um some hard coupling and it is keyed to the uh, coupling okay so here uh, we are not going it's it's they, they are simple modeling things so we are we are basically focusing on assembly here so we'll, uh, just uh, go to make the the slots at the top okay for that we will select this uh, as the end for sketch okay right click you can make it view normal so I just want to make a, a slot for that. I'll go for center point rectangle. I'll just select this point as a center. And I'll make a rectangle with the uh, one side as 30. Okay. And 30. I'll just enlarge that uh, a bit, okay. I'm making as uh, 360. All right. All right. And I finished that sketch. Now, my slot depth is actually 30, okay. So I'm just going to extrude this, remove that portion, okay. So remove the sketch. Um, and the depth is I'm taking it as 30 okay so the depth I took is 30 okay you can see it's just removed okay that's finished okay my uh, the shaft side coupling is now finished all right so now I'm going for the disc okay so one more thing I have I, I want to need because when I go for the uh, assembly when this is rotating uh, if you want to have see a better visibility i'm just making a, a simple uh, a cross handle here okay a cross node okay so for that i'll just select this plane as a sketch plane make it view normal i'm simply making All right so i'll just dimension it now i will make this as 70 70 and this as also 70 all right and uh, uh, this as 15 One five. This is also as one five. I'll just make a, a trim. All right. Okay. So I just finished the sketch now, and I'm going for an extrude. We'll extrude uh, the this sketch. Okay. As a as a uh, as a new compound. Okay, I'm extruding it as a new compound. Right. I'll just give a uh, fifteen. This is just to see when things rotating. So that's why I made it a new component. 
okay we will later fasten it with uh, uh, this couple okay so actually the, the shaft is extending here uh, to get a better view uh, during the assembly animation i'm just doing i'm just doing this cross okay just finish it okay i'll just go for some chamfering at this end that that this this I'll just make it a 7.5. All right. Okay, that's finished. I'll just make a color for that appearance, the part two. Now my uh, end, uh, the shaft and uh, coupling portion is finished. All right. Now again, I'll go for a, a new part studio. I'll just name that's coupler, coupler, all right. So that is the middle portion of the what I'm coupling. Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do is I'll just make my top plane a sketch plane. Select, no, no, right click, view normal, all right, so I'll make a circle, I'll just dimension it as 350, 350, all right, so, I'll extrude it and 30 okay extrude finish now what I'm going to do is I want to make a, uh, uh, the sliding steps at both uh, faces okay for that I'll again go for select this right click you normal so I'll go for the center point rectangle just click make a rectangle like this and I just dimension this as 30 okay this also I'll just make it as three three seventy okay it will go out then what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, go and select uh, center point arc click this point intersection this one okay Again, okay. Now we'll uh, trim out the balance portion. All right, now we will make an extrude of this, make it as 30, start okay, finish. So now we need uh, the extrude at the 
other face also want to make an extrude at the other face okay so for that again what we want to do we'll select a sketch on this plane we want to make a rectangle in this direction okay we we'll make it make it as 30 all right now let's see whether we can extrude from here itself okay i'll just select the sketch uh, i'll go for an extrude all right stop it's fine okay so no need to draw the arc okay so you can directly extrude by selecting the face so that's enough okay so now our disk is finished i just make a, a different color for that okay so i'll go to the appearance just select a light yellow color or better this color okay it's a color of brass finish now it's finished okay so our uh, middle portion is finished now again i want to fix all this together what for that we need a frame for that okay so for that what i'm going to do is just create another part studio why need so i'm just going to make a sketch on the front plane right click you know normal so i'll just make the sketch finished Just go for the extrusion. We can make it on symmetry both direction. And I might make it as 200 of okay. you. My disk is, I mean, my frame is finished. Not finished, I have to make two. Uh, uh holes to connect the shaft okay so for that again i'm i'm making a sketch on this plane right click view normal just making some construction lines that's finished i just want to make a circle here with dimension 50 make it as make it as 100 and this to this make it as 50 okay so that side finished now I just make an extrude remove up to next
that's finished now we move to this side make a sketch on this side to normal again going for a construction I'll make a circle here. Dimension circle as diameter as fifty. That I make as hundred. So I make us 50. All right, sketch finished. I'm going to remove that portion. Okay. So I'll make it as remove up to next. Finish. So the axis is uh, in both direction it is shifted okay so it is not in uh, this line or in this line okay so it has vertically and horizontally shifted okay so the axis of rotation okay now i'll just make a, a color change for this my frame is also finished now i can directly move to the assembly portion okay so i'll just go to the assembly assembly will be whenever you start a new uh, part studio with that uh, same tab one assembly tab will be automatically produced so there is no need to start a new assembly or you can plus to start a new assembly here is create assembly will be there okay so i'm going to insert each part one by one i'm going to insert click first one uh, I, I just in i'm going to insert the frame first time okay i just insert the frame okay so then i'm just moving the frame to my origin okay so for that i just make a fasten meet click the fasten meet so you come to the lower you can set this axis okay then click that make this so now it is finished it is moved to the origin okay exactly what i need i just move to origin after that i just go to the part right click it and fix it okay so now the uh, fasten mate will uh, raise an error you can delete the fasten mate why we do we made the fasten mate is just to move it to the origin okay I'm just deleting it fasten it I don't need now and I'm just going to make uh, uh, this invisible now for uh, for some time okay so just made that one invisible now I'm going to insert uh, the first shaft end okay so this shaft end I'm going to insert okay so I'm just going to place it here then I'm going to place the coupler also okay the coupler i'll just place here somewhere here okay so it is all already here okay so the first thing i'm going to fix this uh, to here okay so this is actually movable okay uh we uh, while we modeling that we modeled it as a separate component so that's why it's move, moving okay so now i want to make a, a fix to this couple okay so this is simply uh, it's just to see whether is rotating or not or just for that purpose only okay so i'll just make a fasten meet here click just enlarge click this midpoint okay then it's selected and come here and fix it here okay so that fasten i have done finish now 
you cannot move it okay you, you cannot move it you can when it move it will be move with the uh, shaft and only okay so that's it now i'm going to uh, make a mate between okay so these two components um, it uh, we know that these are uh, we, we want to slide this inside this slot okay so i'm just taking two reference surfaces and i'm just going to make a planar uh, mate between the that two surfaces the first thing is this surface will be plan uh, planar mate with this surface okay the in, inner surface and any of these surface okay will be uh, meet with uh, this surface okay so I'm, I'm just going to define a planar mate between these two okay for that i'll just collect the a, a planar mate all right then i'll just come here click this face then come here you can see ah okay so there i click you can see it is already inserted there but now it has a freedom to go up and down on that plane okay so it is uh, you can move any direction but it will be always in that plane so that is not enough for us okay so we need one more thing uh, that is uh, this has to be planar meet with the, the bottom this surface okay so for that what i'm going to do is again i'll select a planar meet that's uh, you can just uh, for a while you can make the part to invisible okay you can select that make the part three invisible click here okay so now you can make it visible so it is uh are now connected like this okay so it has a freedom to move on that direction also okay so uh, we have a planar connection now the same way we are going to connect the uh, next uh, shaft end okay so we want to bring it okay so for that again i'm going to insert shaft end we need only one model how you can uh, import it hmm. number of whatever times you required okay so maybe if you if you have multiple uh, fasteners screw screw uh, I mean screws or uh, nut nut bolt you need only one uh, model okay so you can bring it to your assembly whenever you required okay so there is no need to model more numbers that simple model you can replicate okay so I just uh, make it here. Same way I'm going to connect uh, planar uh, joints with uh, this. Okay. For that again, uh, you know that. Okay. So this plane, you can see. So this that should be in a line with this plane okay make a reverse and click all right uh, for a while we can make this uh, part two invisible okay And this for a little while here. Uh, 
Now again, uh, one of these phase has to be connected with this phase. Okay, so for that again, I'm just going to make a planner connection, planner meet. I just select this and this. Okay. All right. All right, I just make this visible. It's perfect now, okay. So all the slots you can see inside, okay. So I want to make this component glue here, okay. I want to glue it there so that I'm just uh, using the fast meet, okay. So click here. Click this. Click there. Make it opposite that's it now it's connected okay so what is now my planner meet all I finished okay so if you if you see you can see. all right okay so this we want to make a reverse connection okay so that surface has to be connected with this surface so this planner we need some others okay can i make this invisible invisible so this uh, plane the bottom plane i have to this plane i have to select okay so i make an edit on this planner okay that slot is okay now so these are the errors which we can uh, happen during the assembly okay. so, which which plane you want to connect properly so that that time it goes up okay so now i think it's fine i'm just making all this visible okay so if you if you if you see different orientation all slots are in connected okay that's it what now we want is we'll make our frame now visible okay so it is somewhere here so i just want to make uh, uh, some connection with uh, this frame okay so then only you can see at uh, the motion okay so for that what i'm going to do the first shaft end, uh, I'm just making a revolute mate between that axis. Okay, so for that I select a revolute. Okay, then I'll just go there. Okay, so this surface I'm going to make revolute. Okay, not this one. Okay, so you can see the step that area. I will select. Then I'll go here. I'll just from the inside and this okay so make it reverse finish okay so that the whole meat is there okay so now again i just want to make a connection here okay so the same revolve connection we cannot make because there is no reference point and the width is little bit big for the frame so uh, what i'm going to do my drive is actually i'm giving here okay so this uh, i will make it as a cylindrical uh, pair a uh, meet okay so uh, if I make cylindrical pair, it has a freedom to slide inside the slot. A slight uh, clearance we required. Okay, so the exact dimension. Otherwise, we want to take and you don't have a gap there. So better we will make a, a cylindrical pair for this. Okay, it's it's uh, slight uh, axial movement also. We will have slight axial freedom we also give for that particular motion. Okay, so. 
for that i will go for cylindrical meat you are familiar with cylindrical meat because the last last session for the screw uh, bolt nut bolt assembly we took that okay now i'll just select again i can go to this click that go here click here okay so it's okay now okay okay all right see it's perfect now you can see it's perfect now okay all all things are well assembled okay all, if you see all the slots are well assembled it's it's uh, right now it's good now we'll see whether uh, things are moving according to uh, our design okay so uh, we know when we rotate this shaft uh, the motion has to be transferred to this shaft okay so even though they are at uh, uh, two line of rotation okay so there are different line of rotations uh, or axis of rotation still uh, this uh, disc okay will trans transfer the motion from these two this, this is a an example for uh, double slider crank mechanism okay so uh, we will uh, check whether this work or not okay so i'm just giving some rotation to this uh, moving properly you can see the disc is sliding inside the slot and repeating the same motion okay it is sliding okay so that's it so if you want to see a better animation for this uh, you can simply click on the uh, cylindrical pair okay i mean uh, i'll just go for the revolve pair okay so i'll just select the revolve pair right click uh, you have uh, an option called animate okay so you click on that animate and i'm going uh, for a uh, i just give a uh, rotary axis uh, here i'm just giving a, a rotational displacement of uh, two revolution that is 720 degree okay so uh, the start is 0 to 720 that means it is going to rotate two uh, full uh, revolutions okay and this steps is it will give you the speed of the rotation okay so as the steps is less it will be fast okay if you are giving more steps it will be slow okay so i'm just giving uh, 600 here all right and i just go for animating that one all right see you can see how it is rotating i'll just go for the isometric view okay you can see uh, both the axis are rotating see i just made this cross just want to see the rotation okay so uh, it is simply transferring the rotary motion from this to this okay so that's it so here we, we we used a uh, planar meets okay so one two three four planar meets we used here we used one revol revolute meet and one cylindrical meet okay so we can see if you want to uh, see it from the top you can click okay so you can see it from the top also how it's rotating okay so if you want to see it from the front view uh, you can see it from the front view how it's rotating all right okay if you want to see it from a side angle also you can see how the disc is moving okay all right i hope you enjoy the video uh, uh this is a bit lengthy video actually uh anyway thanks for watching and uh, welcome all for my next session uh bye bye